Do you know what's a reverse split? If you don't know what a reverse split is, you better know if you want to start trading. Now, let me tell you a story. I didn't know what a reverse split was. You see, when I first started trading, I was investing in stocks that were around $5, right? Because I didn't have a lot of money in my broker's account. And one day I'm watching uh, YouTube videos, right? Trying to learn how to trade. And this guy says, you see, if you want to make a lot of money like I did, you have to invest in penny stocks. I was like, wow. This is it. This guy turned $5,000 into half a million dollars. This is the way. So I'm looking for uh, penny stocks and I found the one. I'm not even going to mention the name of the company because I'm still upset. Years later, I still remember. Anyways, the stock price was around 80 cents, right? And I put every single dollar that I had in that company. Now, two days later, there was a reverse split. I had no idea what that was. So what that means is that if you have 10 shares, they will turn them into one, right? If it's a 10 to one reverse split. And that's what they did. I remember that I had like 5,000 shares 5,000 shares around 80 cents each and they did a reverse split 10 to 1 and you know what happened right right after a reverse split most of the time people panic and there's a big sell-off now that's what happened to me I had a whole bunch of shares and all of a sudden I only have a few and the stock price keeps dropping I had no idea what happened right now, what I did, I was, well, I have to wait because people say that in the long term, the stock price will always go up. So I waited and I waited. And what happened? I lost almost $3,000 in less than a month. Now, I had only one thing in my mind. It was to get my money back. So I keep uh, researching and watching videos and in one day I'm reading this book and the book is t it's talking about the whatever it takes mentality. Whatever it takes, right? And the book was saying that if you want to achieve something, you have to develop the whatever it takes mentality in order to achieve that. So you had to Every morning when you wake up, look at yourself in the mirror, have a power pose and say, you know, whatever it is that you want to achieve. So in my case, every morning I will look at myself in the mirror, have a power pose and say, I will get my money back, whatever it takes. I'm going to become the best trader there is, whatever it takes. And I will say that every single day. When I will wake up, before I will go to sleep, I will say, it. I'm going to get my money back, whatever it takes. So what did I do? I bought courses. I went to seminars. I bought, I, I bought books. I watched videos because I was actually believing it. Whatever it takes. I'm going to become the best trader there is, whatever it takes. And Honestly, that is, that is a good way to achieve your goals, right? And, and you have to develop that mentality. Whatever it takes, I'm going to become the best trader there is. Today, I'm going to learn something new. And what I did, I started learning about candlesticks, right? Because I was only using linear, linear charts because that's the only thing I knew at the time. I read about reverse splits, splits, earnings reports. I, I wanted to learn everything about it because you have to become obsessed with the topic, with whatever goal you have, right? I joined uh, chat rooms, Facebook pages. Uh, I subscribed to YouTube channels. That was my mentality. 
and it still is, right? I want to become the best trader there is. I don't care if Warren Buffett is the best trader, I will become the best trader there is. That's my mentality. So in order for me to achieve that goal, I had to learn everything about it. So I started learning candlestick charts, right? Then candlestick patterns, um, all the different indicators. Okay, support, what is support? What is resistance? I want to learn, I want to learn. So I started learning all the terminology, right? All the investing terms, all the different uh, uh, types of investors, long terms, uh, day traders, swing traders, everything, everything. I started watching, paying attention to the news, the different reactions. And guess what? I wasn't getting anywhere. I was still losing money. And that is because... I realize that you can have all the knowledge in the world. To be honest, you cannot control the market unless, unless you have billions of dollars to invest, right? You could manipulate the market uh, by, you know, paying more and more for, for the stocks, that way you yourself increase the price of the stock. That's one way to do it. You could have inside information. You, anyways, you, you, you need a lot of capital to really control the market. You have to, you know, uh, buy a million shares to drive the price up. You need to, you know, oh, you know about that. But unless you have enough capital to control the market and you're like me, you have to basically guess, right? Now, listen to this, don't, don't get me wrong, right? If you're a long-term investor, right? Like today, you can buy uh, AT&T shares around $30 per share, actually $30.55 per share. Um, in January, it was around 39, 37, somewhere around there per share. So if you want to be a long-term investor, you know, you can uh, take advantage of, of the market right now, right? And you buy some shares of long-term, forget about it for 10 years and it's going to go up, right? Unless there is a, you know, catastrophic event in, in, in the world, in the country and something happens. But in theory, in the long term, stock price will go up. So you could be a, a long-term investor. And, and if you want to be a long-term investor, you don't really have to pay as much attention to the current events, right? To, to the different uh, swings, the, 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 the news. You could, because you're planning long-term, right? But that, I can tell you, very simplistic, buy low, wait for the long-term and you will make money, right? But, if you want to be a trader, right? If you want to uh, buy shares today, sell them tomorrow, sell them in a week, right? I'm a day trader myself, but I actually consider myself a swing trader because I usually hold shares in, in option contracts for a week, 10 days, right? I, I try to maximize as much as I can, but if you want to be a trader, right, it is very, very unlikely that you will be able to control the market. So you have to uh, basically expect the best. You have to buy at support, right? You, you have to see the different uh, entry points, different confirmations. You wait for for an edge, right? You, 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 have, you have good probabilities right and I say probabilities because no one no one really knows what's gonna happen but you have good chances that you know if, if you buy low enough you buy at support that there's gonna be a rally right that there's gonna be a breakthrough and you're gonna be able to make some money but even though even though you do all of that, right? You do your research, you're very familiar with the company, uh, you buy at support, you wait for the right confirmation, you wait for, you know, the, 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 the reverse, right? The, the, the reversal. There is a good chance that you, you could make money, right? But even when you do that, you cannot really guarantee 100% 
uh, uh, sure that you're going to make money. So the problem is not the market. And, and the reason I'm telling you all of this is because like, like you, if you're a new trader, there is a lot of scammers out there, success, success stories. You see, I'm not, even though I, I have made a lot of money, I don't really flex and show you my, my, my bank account. You know, I'm, I'm here in this five stars hotel. I, I could do that, right? I could do that, but that's, that's not my intention. My intention is actually uh, helping, especially the, the new traders, right? Because what happens to people who, who have trade for, for some time is that they become very arrogant, right? They, they think they know everything and they know all the tricks and, 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 and you know, I make six figures every month and, and that, that's their attitude and it's very hard it's very hard to teach them, right? There, there are only two ways that you can learn. You can learn from others, right? From, from, from reading, from listening to what others went through or by your own experience, right? And, and there's people who they, they don't even want to listen to anyone else because they know everything. They know the tricks, they, they probably uh, bought a master class and they went to a seminar. And, and what happens is that there is a lot of scammers. What they do, they try to, they try to tell you that it's so easy, right? I, I put some money in the stock market and now I trade from anywhere and I make so much money. Let me tell you, and I'm being very honest with you, it's not that easy. It's not that easy, my friend. It's not that easy. Okay, not even long term. Look what happened with the market crash 2020. We had the longest, we had the longest bull run in the US history. More than a decade, we were in a bull market and look what happened. Bam! No one was expecting it. Market drops 30% the fastest drop ever, right? We broke some records. I'm telling you, it's not that easy. So, what I'm trying to tell you right here is that don't try, don't expect the market to do anything. Don't expect the market to do anything. The market shouldn't do anything, right? Sometimes you buy some shares and you say the price has to go up. Because I read a report, someone told me, I read the charts, I analyzed the company. There is, listen, the market is, is the result of millions of transactions. There, you know, there is like 80% psychology involved. When people get scared, they sell low. When, you know, there is so many things that influence the market, that the best thing is not to pretend to, to time the market or, or to control the market or to guess the market. The market shouldn't do anything. What you do, you take advantage of what the market is offering at the time. So instead of trying to control the market or to outguess the market or to prove the market wrong and to prove yourself right, you need to work on yourself. That's when I finally got it. Okay, if you're, if you're still watching this video, I congratulate you because now it's when I, I'm telling you. The problem is not the market. You cannot control the market. Everybody wants to make money. Everybody has the same objective, right? What changes is the strategies and techniques. Some people want to make money when the market is, is going down. Some people will only make money when the market is going up. Other people have... The market has so... It's ever-changing. But if you work on yourself, on your psychology, the psychology of, 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 of the trade, if you work on your discipline yourself, the way you go at it, that's when everything changes. Now, it's not about understanding patterns and charts because all you're doing is you're analyzing the past. If, if you want the same pattern to repeat, people have to take the same actions. Right, and that usually doesn't happen. That's why there is so many different patterns. 
J just Google uh, candlestick patterns. You're gonna see so many patterns and names and, and, and cup holder and, 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 and so many names that I don't really, you know, there is no point in me telling you. You could just Google it. If, if you wanna sound fancy, right? You, you, you wanna learn those patterns, oh, go ahead, it's okay. You know, the more understanding you have, the better, but I'm telling you right here, the key, the secret is to work on your psychology, your mentality, your discipline, your strategy. That's what I do. I don't really tell you what to trade. Like I said, I could give you some names. I could tell you what I do, um, the reasons that move me to buy certain options or, or, or certain companies. You know, and, and, and I can tell you some, some strategies. For example, I, like after the crash, I look for companies or stocks that didn't, that didn't drop as much. Companies that were a little safe, right? There, there were some companies that didn't drop as much, right? You, you got, for example, Apple. Apple lost like $100 per share. You got even uh, Tesla. Tesla dropped to around $365 from almost like $800. Right? So that's a lot. That's a big drop. Right, so I, I, I don't focus on, on stocks that dropped a lot because if we ever get a second wave, if we, if we ever get something else, those are the stocks that will suffer the most. I mean, that's, that's, that's my opinion, right? I'm, I'm not saying that I know more than you. That's my opinion, number one. Number two, we, we, had, we had one of the you know, greatest rallies in, in, in the stock market history. Right, the stock the market dropped like 30% and we saw like this huge rally, you know, the, the going back up 5% every day for like, like, like 20 days straight. So I look for companies that in, in, in the big rally actually didn't go as, 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 as high as much so quick because that creates a bubble. Right, and whenever the market gets spooked, guess who? Which are the the the, the stocks that people are gonna drop sooner? Those, because people want to lock in those profits. Right, there is a big bubble. Right, you got, you, you know, you got companies like Tesla. It, it, you know, in the middle of the pandemic, it hits all time highs. Such, you know, I I could make, I could make a few day trade with those, but. If, if I'm gonna try to get like a, like a swing trade, 10 days, well, I look for, for more stable stocks, right? Um, but I, I, I wanna find valuable stocks. I wanna find valuable stocks that pay good dividends, has a good ratio, uh, a good yield, right? So, so I look for, for those types of companies, that's that's why I may mention AT and T. I have even mentioned Walmart, right? Walmart uh, was stable enough; it didn't rally like three hundred dollars, right? It, it was so. Those are more uh, if if you want some safety, right? Because there is no such thing. There is always risk whenever you invest. But if you want some, you know, safety. Then, then those are the ones that don't have as much volatility. So, you know, there's a little bit more uh, safe, safe stocks. But again, like I said, I could tell you those names and the reasons I buy those shares, but that's not what I'm doing here. I'm trying to tell you how to trade, not what to trade. So if you want to choose good stocks, stocks that really... Uh, have, have, you know, less risk. There is more a reward on your investment. What you have to do, you have to become very familiar with the company. That's why I said the, the, the stock price doesn't have to go $100 up for you to make a lot of money. When you're very familiar with a company, with a stock, you can make a lot of money even if, if the price goes up 25 cents. Right, because if you have if you buy enough contracts, uh, let's say you buy enough call contracts 
But if you buy enough shares, those 25 cents make a lot of difference, right? And since you're very familiar, you know where support is, where resistance is, even without a chart, because you're very familiar with the price action. So again, your strategy, the way you trade, your discipline, that's what you have to work on. It's okay if you learn some patterns, to read some charts, but let me tell you, even if you're not a day trader, even if, even if you don't have enough capital, if you don't have enough money in your broker's account, and, and, and tomorrow you have $25,000, that doesn't make you a better trader. That doesn't make you a professional trader. If you cannot manage $1,000, you won't be able to manage $100,000. Okay, so the key is your discipline. So, like I said before, you need the whatever it takes mentality. You want to be a professional trader, you have to have the whatever it takes mentality. And again, I want you to say it. I will become the best trader there is, whatever it takes. I will make money in the stock market, whatever it takes. I will learn everything, whatever it takes, but I will. And I'm telling you, my friend, the shortcut you don't have to buy seminars, buy master classes, work on yourself. And I'm telling you, one of the hardest things, one of the hardest things to master is to learn how to cut your losses without any feelings. Okay? You bought some shares, some contracts, some, and, 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 and you lost $500, get rid of it without any internal internal conflict you sell it and you move on and you don't even blink that's hard to master and if you cut your losses if you only take small losses and you let the, the winners run enough then that's how you're gonna make money you have to work on yourself check out my videos again that's the only that's the only thing that I could be benefiting from if you watch my videos and I get a, 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 a you know, a, a view, whatever, that's the only thing. I, but I'm not asking, I'm not really asking anything in return. I'm not telling you that I know more than you. Like I said, there is people that know more than me. There is people who turn $10,000 into half a million dollars. They probably know more than I do. But if you listen to what I'm saying and, and you combine it with what you already know, you could be a, a very, very smart trader, a professional trader. And if you're new in the, in, in the market, right, in the stock market, in the investing world, then you don't have to go through the things I went through. I lost a lot of money in the beginning. I invested a lot, I invested a lot of money in classes and books, seminars, and, and all everything because it was whatever it takes. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, right? I lost a lot of money and now I share my experiences with you. So you don't have to go through all that if, if you don't rush. If, if whenever you're going to place a trade, you say, well, if I, could, if I could only make 10 trades a year, would this be one of them? Is this low enough? But if you just want to follow the crowd and everybody's buying Tesla and that's you, you want to buy Tesla because everyone else is buying it and, and you want to buy the peak and, 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 and you have... FOMO, fear of missing out, and, and you buy, and, and the next day they drop, right? They dump it. It's your fault, my friend. I'm warning you. I'm giving you true knowledge here. Nothing in return. I'm just sharing it with you. I appreciate it. I appreciate your feedback, your comments. You know, some of you watch my videos, and, and I know, you know, I know, and, and I know you can benefit from this video. Thank you. Right, because I have to say thank you for your support, for your feedback. If you want to share this video with your, you know, your son, your daughter, your niece, your nephew, your cousin, your grandmother, appreciate it. It's good if they know. Right? I wish I knew what I know today, 10 years ago. Right? It's good. This business gives you a lot of freedom, and you have to treat it as a business. That's another rule. You have to treat this as a business. It's 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 it's, it's not the lotto. It's not about getting one big hit. No, treat it as a business. Work on your strategy. Be positive. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. 
Okay, be positive. And, and, and forget about the bad experiences that you had before. If you lost money before and that's working in, in, in your self-esteem, forget about that. Okay, forget about that. Be positive. Have a clean slate. You know, just, just focus. Focus. Okay, forget about the feelings and emotions. Work on yourself. Have a shark mentality. Wait for the right opportunity. That's how you're going to make money. Again, share this video with uh, your friends, your family, um, and bulls and bears. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.